And that's why you need to really know God for yourself and you need to know what is really for you. There are thousands of people applying to the same course, but it was enough for me to completely question my entire purpose. I <laughs> Hi guys, welcome to Natasha's Narrative. So I'm really excited to start this series. It's a new series. I need to stop starting new series, but here we are. It's been something I've been praying about, thinking about for a long time. So basically it's regarding toxic traits, yo. Um, I need to stop saying, yo, I don't know where this habit has come from, but I really hope that it doesn't enter 2021 because this is just, it's not good. It's not, it's not cute at all. But yeah, so it's about toxic traits um, and basically I'm going to be kind of covering what most people refer to as the seven deadly sins, breaking them down, why they, yeah, just giving reasons as to how they hold you back and just trying to give some advice as to how to kind of help control them. So the first one that I'm going to be discussing is anger, classic, um, joking, not really that much, yeah. Let me not say classic because people really think I'm out here being She-Hulk every day, which is not true at all. I think I'm generally a very, very calm person. Like, it takes a lot to kind of get me very, very irritated. Um, but I had the habit of kind of not communicating effectively, I would say, essentially when... Not when I was really young, but um, definitely from probably my teenage years up to probably a couple of years ago because you get so used to bottling things up you hold things you hold things you hold things and then someone says something it might not even be related to that and you just explode yeah it's not nice for them first let me not even talk about myself it's not nice for them because it's probably completely unprovoked and it's a huge reaction to normally what is what is a small irritation it's not nice for you because it just you just don't feel good as a person and it just doesn't reflect well on your character it happens to a lot of people and i think it's because a lot of the time um people feel like oh you know what it's not that deep or you don't want to bother someone with what's actually irritating you and then it just ends up being this whole kind of crazy situation so that's why i wanted to talk about it first so and so in this video i'll be also kind of dropping in a couple of um, scriptures for all my Christians out there and also people who may be interested in Christianity but this is not going to be a sermon so I'm saying this from the beginning because I don't want people to come up to me being like oh um, like you didn't really fully expand on everything that you said within the scripture etc etc these are just scriptures that I'm giving you that pinpoint to the area that I'm discussing um, so yeah just to give you some help if you want to be able to find scriptures to help you when you feel these um, a sort of way um, but like I said it's not it's not a sermon so don't be expecting one so if that's why you've come to this video that's not what you're gonna get, unfortunately. So anyway, so let's get into talking about, I guess what you would call the fruits of anger, which I guess is a weird way to term them because they're not really positive things. Um, but some of the things that I would consider are things like bitterness. Um, so anger in general, I would say is definitely like a poison. It seeps into everything. It, most importantly, it seeps into your relationships, whether those are familial, friends, romantic, um, and a lot of the time when I'm like really, really angry or when I used to be really, really angry from a result of something being bottled up, like I said, I would have those kind of mini explosions at different people and they must have been like, what the heck? Like, I didn't even say anything. Why is this girl acting crazy? But it was because I was already annoyed at like 10 other things that were completely unrelated to that person. But like I said, that is not that yeah that is not a fair way to behave but that is what happens when you're angry like you lose control you don't you can't control your emotions as well as you normally can and so you end up saying things that you don't mean and the thing is like I always say like yeah you can apologize for something but at the end of the day you can't take what you said back the issue is that like well for me when I'm annoyed anyway I can say for me when I'm really annoyed and I say something that's bad what I'm saying is the truth but the way that I'm saying it is in a very hurtful way so I'm not saying the thing that I should be saying in the right type of way and a lot of the time it's not even coming out in the right sort of situation like if I have 
for example if i have a friend and i find and there's something that i don't like about them um and it's been grating on me for years but it's completely unrelated me bringing it up in an argument is not the right time to be bringing it up like it's just going to escalate things further so that's the issue um, is that you because you have this loss of control you're just running your mouth you're not actually able to be a caring person at that time and you're just kind of saying things that you shouldn't be saying another couple of fruits i would say are for example retaliation so for me retaliation is very very petty you know an eye for an eye is not a good mentality to have um, always try to be the bigger person if you can in this situation um, because what ends up happening is it becomes a war of egos they've said something you're saying something it escalates it escalates it escalates and sometimes it can get to a point of the damage being so bad that you can't return back um, to that friendship so really just try and dead it as soon as possible like for me and my uh, middle sister um, when we used to argue a lot I got to a point where I was just like I would have to cut the argument and be like I'm not talking about it anymore like just stop and I would have to stop her because I knew if she continued I would say something and it would just become a very ugly situation so out of respect for that relationship out of love for that relationship you just have to shut your mouth and then you know allow yourselves to cool off and then maybe you can you know attack that topic again and i think lastly something that i would say that is a huge 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 fruit of anger is unforgiveness guys forgiveness is a must forgiveness is a must religious not religious i don't care forgiveness is a must because really when you do not forgive the uh, oh the bitterness that is in your soul it will corrupt you it will rot you it will turn you into a different person and i i've seen it i have being it i know myself when i'm upset with someone um especially people who are close to me and it's about really kind of deep issues and i have not forgiven that person it turns me into someone else because i am so hurt from that issue so forgiveness whether it takes you you know a few days a few weeks a few months a few years you have to get you have to come to terms with it you have to come to terms with forgiving that person to set yourself free from anger because at the end of the day and a lot of the time like this unforgiveness comes from people who have not actually apologized because you are more likely to forgive someone who apologizes because you're like okay this person has actually like repented or they actually feel bad than someone who doesn't like it's so hard to forgive someone who hasn't apologized but you actually just have to because it will change who you are as a person into a worse person and that's not fair why should that person get to win this person's doing key 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 they don't care what they've done to you but you're the one that's walking around with all the hurt the trauma you know isolating yourself from people so you really just need to work on that forgiveness for yourself um and for the other person as well even though at that time you may not want to but i'm not going to really talk about forgiveness in this video i'm going to make another video about forgiveness at some later point um and again i'll sprinkle i'll sprinkle some scriptures in there as well but yeah yeah so moving on let's talk about scriptures regarding anger so uh, there's so many scriptures talking about anger like when i was doing my research and reading about you know what scriptures should i include in this i just found so many that are really really helpful but i just thought i would include two so the first one um is ephesians 4 31 essentially what it says is let all bitterness wrath anger clamour slander be put away from you so essentially emphasizing the point that i've already made that you know these being angry is not a good thing get rid of it get it out of your heart so that it does not corrupt you as a person because that's what it does the second one is james 19 which a lot of us have probably heard at church or have heard at um, our bible studies which says be slow to speak and slow to anger for the anger of man does not produce the righteousness of god so i guess this kind of leads into my next point of can we actually you know is there any such thing as a just anger like um especially for i guess christians like can we be angry or is it just completely sinful to be angry in general and i would say yes there is a just anger and for a lot of people um who you know are not believers their just anger will be to do with you know either their morals or what their um 
religious text says and for us as Christians it's the same thing it's to do with what our religious text says so things that you know you can be justly ang justly angry about would be things that you know go against God's character for example this year with the George Floyd murder that is something that you can be justly angry about and I think everyone was angry and outraged and horrified but the difference is what are the results of our anger in those type of situations like are you then using all the anger in your heart to go and take that out on other people you know who for example may not be black because you're irritated about institutionalized racism so you're taking it out on people who do not deserve it or are you using the anger that you feel to protest, to petition, to donate to um, causes that need it? So it's really about kind of like, what do you do once you feel this sort of way? That result of your anger is really, really important in kind of determining whether it's a just anger or not a just anger. A lot of the time, anger that is not just ends up being self-directed. And I'm not saying that, you know, if someone does something wrong to do, wrong to you you don't have a right to be angry about it it's, you are facing injustices obviously you have a right to be angry about it but I also think it's really easy to blur the line between just anger and self-righteous anger when it's to do with yourself and I think it's really important that we need to really check ourselves and be like is this something that I have the right to be angry about or am I actually just being petty so the camera stopped recording sorry guys so now I'm just going to talk about how can we kind of prevent anger from corrupting us and encompassing our whole beings? Um, so number one, I feel like it's obvious, is forgiveness. Um, and that can be very, very difficult. Extremely difficult. But it's really important because when someone makes you, like, angry, and I mean really angry, like, not just more irritations, because when I'm, like, a little bit irritated, I can still have a great amount of focus on everything else that's going on in life. I don't know, it's just like being poked again and again and again. It's like, yeah, I realise what you're doing, but it's really not that big a deal. But when you're really, really angry, it's kind of like, for me anyway, I used to feel like everything, all my attention was focused on that kind of one issue. And because you're focused on that, everything else is either kind of like injured in your wrath, like when you end up spewing out all that mess because you're angry or it's put on the back burner which ends up ruining opportunities for you you end up neglecting friendships you end up being isolated um towards your you know other relationships friendships family romantic relationships whatever it is so it really does have an effect on every part of your life and like giving somebody it doesn't mean that you're you know overnight you're going to be like oh yeah we're cool like when i think about that situation i don't feel hurt at all but it allows the healing process to begin i really don't think you can like begin to heal until you've actually considered the notion of forgiveness i don't think it's possible maybe for other maybe it is for other people but i personally do not think it is and i don't think it necessarily have to like go into this forgive or forget you know forgive and forget even situation because for me i can forgive you but i'm not gonna forget because i'm not gonna allow myself like especially if it's been a you know you've done I realise that, you know, you're not someone that I can trust. Why am I going to forget what you did so that I can burn myself again? Like, do I look stupid? Anyway, basically, <laughs> I'm not going to really talk about forgiveness in this video because I want to reserve another video for that. But essentially, I do think forgiveness is really key. A lot of the time, um, if you're angry about something, it's probable that you've argued with somebody about something um, or had a major disagreement or something. Having, um, speaking to people that you trust... Um, about it can help because number one they can kind of provide you with an external sort of view and number two I think sometimes we need to be humbled to forgive which is back to point one because there are times where you honestly feel too prideful to forgive at that point and you just don't want to do it and sometimes you need to be told like look like you need to actually forgive this person I know you don't want to do it right now and I'm not even saying that you have to do it right now but you need to actually forgive this person you can't just be like yeah I'm never going to forgive them because of da, 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 da. because like I said at the end of the day it's only going to harm you yeah and for you know my Christian peeps prayer obviously um pray for 
God to remove that anger from your heart but also be prepared to do the work I think a lot of the time we pray for things we're like oh God please do this please do that but we don't actually want to do what God tells us to do afterwards so whilst you're praying for that anger to be removed be prepared to put on your big boy shoes or your big girl panties or whatever it is and forgive that person when he asks you to and you know so be ready to do your part also and i think lastly just to end on um i think understanding the root of where the anger is coming from is extremely important um especially if it feels like it's just kind of come out of nowhere for example some days you'll get like you'll just feel really irritated or annoyed and you'll just be like where the heck is this emotion coming from well a lot of the time it's come from something like that you might have seen or a conversation that you've had that's like unknowingly like triggered something in your past and i was talking to a friend recently and i was like it's so crazy how um a lot of people actually just kind of neglect or don't think about how their past has had like such um, things in the past have significantly impacted them so I think being able to try and go back and be like okay I was fine and then someone said this like why has that made me angry and understanding the root of your anger will help you to resolve the issue um, and remove that kind of emotion from the situation but it can it can be hard especially when it comes from like childhood triggers because um and for a lot of people you know you block that stuff out and so you don't really remember it that clearly but i think definitely you have to take the time um to be able to sit you know you have to take the time to be able to sit down and be like you know what like i actually i care about myself so much that i need to sit down and reflect on this situation because if i don't i'm always going to be triggered and i think a lot of the time like you set that kind of like foundation early on and then it just kind of piles up and piles up and then it layers and layers and layers and it's like the the kind of like i would say like the triggered region area just gets bigger like more and more and more things start to trigger you and it's because you haven't been able to sort out what the root of that issue is and that's why it's so important to actually take time to really reflect on yourself and reflect on things that you know trigger you um so that you know how to handle them but yeah that's all i have to say for this video so i'll be doing six other videos because like i said talk about the other um deadly sins in other videos following the same sort of format hope that you guys found it helpful and yeah i'll also drop a forgiveness video which will be separate to this i've been meaning to do that one for some time but i didn't think that I, I didn't think that I was ready to drop a forgiveness video but I've really come to kind of the conclusion and I think it's again with a lot of these other things is that you'll have times where you're not really angry at all and you'll have times where you're fuming you'll have times where you haven't coveted or haven't felt envious of someone for weeks and then if someone you see someone has something and you're just you feel in your heart you're just a bit like oh okay um so you kind of just go through different periods of life i feel where one kind of bad or toxic trait area is a bit more prevalent than the other one is but um you'll never be a perfect person and i think that's why i was just like you know what so forgiveness wise at the moment um i feel pretty much good with everyone i don't think there's anyone that i particularly have any issues with so i thought this was the perfect time to do it but there'll never be a day where you're just completely perfect so it's just like just make the video so yeah i'll make that too make sure to subscribe like share um to other people if you think they'll enjoy the video too that would be amazing um my social media is down below and if you want to be a contender for the 500 follower giveaway food gift card make sure that you're following my instagram this is natasha's narrative i hope that you guys have an amazing week and um i will well you'll see me later for some other content bye